Endor Labs and GitHub Advanced Security are better together. I already have a repository with a clear set of actions defined, a very simple build and release action. This build and release action has the steps that you would expect, which is that it's going to clone the repo, build and install, and upload an artifact. You can see that I already have some security findings in Dependabot. GitHub tells me about 12 issues that are potential vulnerabilities in my dependencies. I want to level up this capability using Endor Labs. To do this, I'm going to edit this workflow to add just two steps. These two steps are going to be uh, inserted after the build, but before the artifact is uploaded. Here we see we added a scan with Endor Labs, which tells me what my Endor Labs organization is and where I want to save the serif format output that GitHub requires. And then a GitHub provided action to upload that serif file to GitHub Advanced Security. I'm going to commit these changes. I'm going to tell it here that we're going to add Endor Labs. And even though it's not best practice, I'm going to commit directly to the main branch. Once this happens, we'll see that the action has automatically kicked off to add Endor Labs as a scan. So now that we've fast forwarded a little bit, you can see my action is finished running. And as a result of this completed action, I now have more findings in my security tab. I still have the 12 that Dependabot was aware of, but I have a new 35 that Endor Labs has scanned and discovered and I can take action on these things directly in the GitHub interface that I'm used to using. I can even use our advanced capabilities to sort by function reachability, among other attributes, to focus on the things that are most important to my organization. So I know that out of these 35 things, these two vulnerabilities are things that are reachable for me, and I can take action on them quickly. Now that I have those security findings, I can also look at the Endor Labs Hearts GitHub project in the Endor Labs UI, and I can see those 35 finding dependencies and two additional findings that represent configuration issues with my repository. And just as we could do tags in GitHub Advanced Security, we can look at function reachability and other items right in the Endor Labs user interface, see the same information, including additional information about reachability call paths and more details about the vulnerability.